is now 12 o'clock noon. Our uh, present position is for latitude of 41 degrees and 10 minutes north and longitude 068 degrees of 44 minutes west. The present depth of water is about uh, 70 meters and our mm. present speed is 17.7 knots or 20.4 miles per hour. We are following a southwesterly uh, course towards uh, New York and uh, our uh, nearest point of land is uh, Natuke Island on our uh, uh, starboard side, 56 nautical miles away. Since uh, our departure from uh, uh, San John yesterday, last night, we have covered the distance of 274 nautical miles with an average speed of uh, 17.4 knots and we still have 252 nautical miles to go towards uh, New York. Tomorrow morning, uh, we are expecting to uh, pick up our local pilot uh, at 05 a.m. and uh, proceeding into the Ambrose Channel and passing under the uh, Verrazzano Bridge around uh, 0615 and mm, pass the uh, State of Dover Liberty around 0645. Just repeat this uh, timing for you. We will pick up the pilot at 5 o'clock. I'm gonna write that into down. The Ambrose Channel towards New York, passing the Verrazzano Bridge around 0615 and passing the State of Liberty 0645. So, weather wise, I'd like to give you some update of the uh, Hurricane uh, uh, Lee. So, presently on the bridge, we are uh, tracking and monitoring the Hurricane, uh, it's coming in category uh, 2 Hurricane. Presently is about 600-700 miles south of our position, heading north. With the We're heading south. North, but uh, as uh, you can understand, uh, these uh, depression hurricane are quite intense and unpredictable. Uh, presently, the wind uh, to the eye is about 80 to 100 kilo, uh, knots per hour and affecting the uh, radius is around 300 miles from the position. So he's predicting to make landfall in Halifax on the 16. Where well, we should have been. Wind, so rain, a good job we went. Affecting uh, Rhode Island, Massachusetts and uh, mainly the Gulf of Maine for the rest of the week. Oh, all the those people who just visited are uh, like safe. You know, close to the uh, position are around uh, 5 to 7 meters in high or 15, 25 feet. And uh, presently uh, we are north of the uh, Hurricane Lee, uh, aiming for uh, New York. Uh, during the afternoon, uh, the wind will increase from the north northeast, perhaps up to 35 to 40 knots as we approach New York and we will get uh, some uh, uh, swell from the southeasterly direction, approximately two and a half to three meters. You can start already now feeling the uh, motion of the ship. Uh, we don't have wind right now, but uh, the swell, we already start feeling the swell from the southeast and we have the ship stabilizer out to make the uh, Emerald, Princess, Emerald Princess as comfortable as possible. So I would like to remind you that uh, while you're walking around the ship and uh, using stair, please uh, be careful and using handrail and make sure that you secure all your stuff in the in your uh, cabin in order to uh, not falling down and once again uh, once you're walking around the ship be careful and using and the rail i will keep you uh, updated during the afternoon as the system moving up and i will give you another update around the five o'clock this afternoon however uh, i would like to reminding that tonight uh, one hour uh, back, we will uh, set the clock one hour back in order to set to the New York time. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, I wish uh, you a buon appetito and uh, enjoy the rest of the afternoon on board the Emerald Princess. Ciao for now. I'm just eating a cherry on my pina colada. Right, uh, it's a virgin one, virgin pina colada. Um, I am going to explore now. It's a bit rocky, but you know me, I like, I like the rough seas. Um, I mean, it's not rough, it's not rough at all. Out there, it looks like a mill pond, but it's an undulating um, mill pond. So, had the most amazing morning. Um, I'll discuss it again later, because I want to go and catch the Princess Orchestra in the piazza. Um, and then I think I'm going to go and take some footage with my Insta360. I always forget to use this, which is bad because it's expensive. And I need to make, you know, make it worthwhile that I bought it. <laughs> um, so I have just booked some things to do in New York uh, with an unexpected day tomorrow. And I've had the immigration information that my deck is first. So that's really good at eight o'clock. And I think because I've done immigration in New York and they let me in until December, then hopefully it should be all right. Well, it's a bit wavy out there. I'll take you out and show you it in a minute. Um, yes, immigration quickly. So I've booked a tour with walks.org, I think. I'll put a link up. Um, very easy to book. The internet on this ship is incredible. It's the, is it Starlink? Um, oh, what's his name? The Tesla weirdo. Sorry, it's not a weirdo, I'm sure, but he seems a bit of a weirdo. Uh, Elon Musk, that's it. Um, his Starlink satellite internet it's really good um I will show you the tours I go on so I wanted to do um a tour around Grand Central Terminus station walking tour around there I've always wanted to do that for quite a while and I was gonna wait till whenever I came to New York with my husband um and do it with him but as this is an extra day in there I just like no I want to do it and I'll do it again with him I'm sure um, and then I'm doing a 9-11 tour that ends in a um, fast track access to, me waving this around, fast track access to the One World Trade Center viewing platform at the top. Uh, the one I filmed being struck by lightning last week. So yeah, hopefully no lightning when I'm up there. Um, yeah, so I'll show you those. I think they're gonna be fun tomorrow. Not sure how I'm going to get from Brooklyn to um, all these tours because it was a bit of a mission, to be fair. Um, it's not easy, and I hear it's a bus ride, like a, a New York bus, not a cruise bus, to the subway. So I don't know, maybe I get an Uber to the subway. Uh, we'll see. Anyway, I'll, I'll show you what I do. Uh, um, at the moment, I'm going to show you quickly outside before I go and listen to the orchestra. It's undulating at the moment. And you see the bridge, it's moving up and down. It's not at all rough, because look at it, it's like a mill pond. But definitely, you can feel us gently going up and down. Special group of individuals, of course, our 
elite and passenger men. And of course, in your uh, loyalty and support that you give to us, make this evening possible. And your hard working bar staff, they've been working hard to keep it well hydrated. So a big thank you to all of our bar team. The night is still young. If we don't have to run away, Captain Sophie is going to remain here on stage to take pictures with our chef photographer. So please do not be shy. I look forward to uh, capturing those memories with you. Please enjoy the rest of your evening. And of course, we look forward to seeing you on many more cruises in the future. Thank you and ciao for now. Look at that view, it's beautiful.